Sankai. Zon the Nikar. Zon Guarta. You guys want to keep it down? <clears throat> My head is splitting. Urakai, are you unhurt? I think so, Doc, except my hearing's a bit out of whack. I do not understand, Ulukai. Ulukai? What's that? Some egghead word for... Holy shit! What is egghead? Who are you? Where are the others? I am Zokrin, leader of the Dolotai Guardians. What others do you talk of? Others... like me. We found you alone, Ulukai. No others were there. Brilliant. Now what? Now? Now we will help you retrieve your five moms and defeat Feyran and his soldier leader, Kroax. Then all of Adelpha will be free. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Chief. I hate to burst your bubble, but I've already got a world to save. <laughs> yes, Ulukai, and that is Adelpha. Why do you keep calling me Ulukai? The name is Cutter Slade. Hundreds of moons ago, the Prophet Khazar spoke of a higher being, the Ulukai, who would arrive at this time to save Adelpha from destruction at the hands of Feyran. To do this, you will need the five Mons, sacred objects that have been hidden around the regions of Adelpha, awaiting your arrival. Sounds like you have some real problems. Zogrim, was it? But right now, I gotta find the three other people on my team and a busted probe. That's my first priority. If I have time afterwards, I'll see what I can do about helping you, okay? If you search for friends and busted probe, have you a way of finding them? Now that you've mentioned it, no, I don't. Then I propose a deal with you, Ulokai. I will tell the other Dolotai Guardians to go out into their regions and search for what you seek. When they discover anything, they will get word to me. Then I, to you. How many men do you have? Once, we numbered in the thousands. Now we are but a hundred, and getting smaller with each moon. So if I help you get these mons, you'll use your hundred eyes and ears to look around this world for me? Yes. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice here. How will you know where I am? We will know, Ulukai. Many Talon will not believe in you until they hear stories of your good deeds. All will watch your every move. Fair enough. Now the probe is a big shiny metal object, and I need to find it first. Is this what you seek? A backpack? Where'd you get that? It was found where you arrived, Ulukai. As were many sacred objects of the Yods. No, the probe is much bigger than that. You said the rest of the equipment is there? No, Ulukai. When sacred objects were discovered, many Talon take them for themselves, to have a little part of the Yods, and to feel hope that some moon they would help. Most Talon will not want to give up their sacred objects. This mission will be a snap, Commander. It's just a simple repair operation. What could go wrong? Well, let's count. I lost my crew, can't find the probe, my equipment is being used by the natives as rosary beads, and I have one backpack with my HKP-12 and 30 rounds of ammo. I believe that places this mission somewhere just south of Fubar. I did not understand all what you said, Ulukai, but if you are looking for more items, I would like to give you this. What is it? This Gamsav is believed to save at Halan's essence when it is held and squeezed in one's hand. When you do this, a strange glow builds inside the Gamsav, and after a few moments, it lets out a bright light. This is believed to imprint your essence on the Gamsav, but you cannot move while the light is growing. Ah, skip it, Chief. This is too much. Look, I think I need to clear my head. Got a place I can stretch my legs a bit? Of course, Ulukai. Our camp is open to you. You should find my son, Nan. He can help you. Once he has done so, return to me, and I will open the Dao camp, so you may leave.
Hello everybody, I'm your friend in neighborhood Let's Play Spider Man and I welcome you all to Let's Play Outcast. Outcast is one of the most underrated games of all time, um, at least in my opinion. It's a really wonderful third person shooter with lots of adventuring, great story, absolutely amazing music great characters it's just all in all one of my favorite games of all time and I've really been waiting to make a let's play out of it all the all this um, have one and a half years that I've been doing let's plays I've just been waiting for to do this one this is the game that I've been really wanted to do so here I am finally doing this it's an it, it will just uh, grip you hard and hopefully you will enjoy it as much as I enjoyed playing this game Lexicon accessed. Lexicon accessed yes we are cut of Slade or according to these uh, Talan who are the uh, the Talan who are the inhabitants of the world Adelpha that we have been uh, slung into because of the functioning probe and that wormhole uh, interdimensional wormhole And, uh, yeah, Ulukai here is, has to save two worlds, the, <laughs> apparently. Not just Earth, but also Adelpha, since there's trouble here, too. Just look at this. It's been such a long time since I've been here. Well, not time. Well, it's been a few months since I've played this game. I have played it before a little bit. Just to get used to it and everything. But, uh, yeah, welcome to Adelpha. Ooh, this metal. I get... I get used to that voice that keeps uh, talking. That's the intercom computer in Cutter's uh, headset that tells him where to go and what if there's something that he can pick up. Or something interesting going around. Well, let's pick that up. And also... Let's turn the map on. The map is extremely useful in this game to use. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of the screen, but I don't mind. But anyway, this game is going to be very dialogue heavy, and the episodes that I'm going to be doing are going to be very long, at least from 30 minutes to even an hour, maybe, I'm not sure. It depends on how much I want to play at the time, because this can really grip you very strongly and you just have to keep on playing. Yeah, it's one of those games. Very addicting. And you can talk to all of these people, which I will be doing very soon, but first I'm just gonna pick up everything and the map shows uh, if there's any living creatures around as you can see all the red dots means that there's people around or some kind of living organism so let's talk more to Zakrim who apparently has a peace wife let's talk about the Gamsav yeah, I think you've already understood what the Gamsav is but let's talk about it because it's funny dialogue sort of silly say Zokrim, what was that Gamsav you gave me and I turned on the uh, subtitles out of you because I'm not sure if you can hear all the dialogue, and, but I'm, I will try not to talk over the voiceovers all the time. At least I'm gonna try. But we'll see. That is your Gamsav. It is a very special piece of Adelpha, and only a few are ever found. Great. What's it good for? If you take it in your hand and squeeze it, light and sound from inside the Gamsab grows. When it reaches full power, it will cause a bright flash. That flash is thought to save your essence in case you are reverted. Oh, that's different. Be warned that if you use this near soldiers, that they will hear it and come running. Also, any energy that comes near your Gamsab will disrupt it, and you will have to begin again trying to use it. How many times can I use it? I do not think it has a limit, Ulokai. Nope, it doesn't. So, 
so seriously using the gamma of near soul near enemies or anything it will it will get their attention it will come after you so saving the game at the very at quiet spots is the idea to do it and uh, and I will not be saving a lot I will be saving only when I end the video those are the only times when I will be saving because this game does not have a quick save so uh, saving often would be a good idea but it just takes such a long time to save you'll see when I do it I will show you the game save game saving but anyway let's talk to him about uh, the yard when he said what the yards so let's ask about that what is a yard the yods are the forces that watch us from above and give all Talon our essence. They are the ones who have brought you to us. We help. So basically, yod means god. That's basically it. Let's ask about mons that they want us to find. What are these mon you told me about again? It is said that you will come to Adelpha. And reunite the five moms. Then the season of Feyran will come to an end, and all of Adelpha will be at peace once again. And what are they? No Talon knows. They were found by Kesar, and then hidden from the soldiers of Feyran by all the Shamas after Kesar was reverted. Find the Shamas in any region you enter to begin finding the Mon, Ulokai. So, five sacred objects that are really important for us to save the world. And they know nothing of it. Except for the Zamas. <laughs> Shamas. Let's ask about the guardians that Zakrim and everyone are. Tell me more about the Dolatai guardians. Old Talon of the Essence Fey used to be Dolatai guardians. Since the Fey Essence allows us to use our essence to attack, we became the hunters and protectors of the Talon. So what went wrong? When Fey Ran arrived in Shamazar, he began to change the minds of some of the Fey Talon. He said that the Fey were stronger and should lead the other Talon. Many of the Fey did not listen to Fey Ran, but a few of the less honorable ones did. Why didn't you try and stop him then? Many of us began to battle with the followers of Feyran, but the way of the Talon must be one of peace, or the essence suffers. This is how it has been for countless thousands of moons. Kaiser spoke against our use of force, and we followed his message, but Feyran took advantage of this and reverted many of Kaiser's followers. And now? Now we are but a few left. Feyran has done his best to remove our voice from Adelpha, but we continue to fight in our own way. Many Talon want us to succeed, but most are afraid to say it. So apparently Feyran is a real nice tyrant, huh? And it seems the Kazar was trying to defeat him, but uh, it seems Kazar was defeated in the end. So, Feyron is the big bad man in the game, apparently. So, let's ask about Croax that he mentioned. What can you tell me of Croax? I was very young when he became the leader of Feyron's soldiers. From what my father told me before being reverted, Croax always tried to be in control, to have others under his power. How did he and Feyran get together? When Feyran first arrived in Shamazar, he met with Kazar several times. They were always seen arguing. Croax saw his chance to join forces with Feyran. And together, they began to teach their message of power over the weak. So basically, Feyran is the Emperor and Croax is Darth Vader. Something like that. Let's ask about uh, the Daoka, whatever that is. What is a Daoka? They are the travel rings that have been found throughout Adelpha for thousands and thousands of moons. 
No Talon knows who created them, only that they allow fast travel to regions where they lie. We turned ours off to make sure no soldiers followed us when we rescued you. Smart. So Daoka is basically this game's Stargates. Just so you know. Can you tell me about Shamazar? It is the region that the Daoka in our camp leads to. This region is filled with temples and many Talon there are forced to grow food for Feyran's soldiers. Oh, well, we're not ready to go yet because, uh, like he asked, we should talk to his son, Jan. If we can find him. Let's see, we got the note bad here. Zakri wants me to speak to his son, Jan, before he opens the Daoka. So even if you said that you're ready to go, he won't let you because you haven't done things with his son yet. Oh, hello. Are you staring at me? Okay, I'll talk to you. Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. You have my greetings, Unukai. I have just returned from Okasankar, and I am glad to see you are well. Where? The region of Okasankar. I was there because I was the last guardian to leave Okar, the region where we found you. It was my duty to make sure no trail was left by us that would lead the soldiers to us. Well, I guess he did a good job because there's no soldiers and they seem safe. What can you tell me about this Okar place? That region is where we found you, Ulukai. Kazar spoke of your arriving in that region, and for many moons we hid among the trees, avoiding the soldiers of Croax. We had all but given up hope that you would arrive when we saw the bright light of your arrival. Then what happened? You arrived near a group of soldiers. They were about to discover you, when we attacked them and drove them away. You attacked? Only with sleep darts and other not violent means. We never revert other Talan. After this, you were brought here to safety. Only I remained behind to hide our tracks. That region is a very dangerous one. Full of mystery it is. What kind of mystery? There are stories that the ruins of the region are the remainders of the ancients. I doubted this until I visited the region on the quest of recovering you. During the moons we hid out in the region, I saw what I think was a Daoka, except this one was very large. It had symbols at the top of it to a place I have never seen on symbols of other Daoka. But I will never know the answer to its secret. Don't zoom too close. Jeez, look at that face. Why is that? That Daoka was broken, if it even was a Daoka. Others with me thought it to be a monument of some kind. Most Talan do not believe in the story of the ancients, but I like to think they could be. Oops, sorry for stopping him talking there. Clicked by accident. Stupid finger. Well, let's, uh, let's ask about Okasankar. Tell me about this Okasankar. It is a region full of water. The city of Sayana lies around a mountain that rises high above the water there. Many say the region used to be mostly mountains countless moons ago, and that the Yogs became angry and filled it with water to drive away the ancient ones there. Before we continue, something came up to my to my mind here that I didn't mention before. Like I said, this game is gonna be very dialogue heavy, and this first episode is gonna be mostly just dialogue learning about the other regions in the game. So if you're not interested in that, you may skip ahead, or even skip this whole first episode because this is just a tutorial, but also learning about Adelpha and all the regions of it. The ancient ones. The stories about them are many, and each is different. So many moons have passed since they were supposed to have been here, that I fear no one Talan knows if they existed. What can you tell me about them? The most popular story is that there were two races in the beginning, Talan and the Ancients. The Yogs watched 
as both races began to live on Adelpha. When the Yod saw the ancients hurting Adelpha, they reacted quickly to rid Adelpha of them. Many Talan were lost in their anger, but the few that survived spoke with the Yod and promised to never harm Adelpha again. You don't believe this story? I do not know, Ulukai. Some moons I do not. But then I think about the Daoka and other objects that no Talan knows how they arrived on Adelpha, and I wonder. Very interesting, very interesting. How about this guy? Can I see you for a second? Hey there, how's it going? Great, Urukai. You are better, I see. I could be worse, although I don't really see how. I can try and give you some info about the Shamaz or the region of Shamazar if you would like. Well, that would be most helpful because they, <laughs> because Zakrim has mentioned the Shamaz who knows about the locations of the Mons that I'm supposed to find. So let's ask about what the heck is a Shamaz. What can you tell me about the Shamaz? They used to have greater numbers of their kind, like Asgardians, but since Feyran and Kloax began to rule Adelpha, they have disappeared in great numbers. Feyran's been killing them? That is what most fear, Ulukai. Feyran has made it illegal for any Shamaz to teach about the other Yods or of the Prophet Kazar. Those that do disappear. We have made efforts as well to keep alive the teachings of Kazar and the Yods, but we too lose more guardians every moon. I fear that one moon soon there will be no more of us left. So why does Feyran allow some of the Shamas to live? He will always need Shamas. They can use their essence to heal. Kroax forces them to heal his soldiers, and Feyran makes them heal the workers so they can work harder for him. There was a time that none of the Shamas would help Feyran, but when he continued to revert them until there were only a few left, they decided that they needed to stay alive to attempt to continue their teachings and agreed to Feyran's terms. They're on his side now? No, Ulukai. Never question the loyalty of a Shamas. They will all be delighted to see you and will help you the best they can. Kazar suggested this and the Shamas have listened. The only reason you should ever fear a Shamaz is... Is when? Forgive me, Urukai, but they were told by Kazar that if your essence was discovered to be evil, they were not to help you. But I am certain that will not be the case. Yeah, you can be a douchebag to all of these Talan. You can kill them and everything and not help in, in any way. But if you do that, you will never play this game through. So don't play it evil. Be a goody two shoes in this game seriously if you want to play it through that is but if you are a murderous bastard go ahead kill everything <laughs> see if I care <laughs> what can you tell me of Shamazar large temples are placed all around that region they are all used to go to pay tribute to the yods of the essences these moons very few are allowed to travel to them and the offering plates beneath the idols atop the temple stand bare why can't you travel to them? Feyran has all but destroyed all forms of worship to the other Yods. Now his Yod, the Yod Fey, is the only Yod all can worship frequently. For the other three, all must do it in secret. Only the Shamas are allowed to travel much to these other temples, but even their time there is limited. What else can you tell me of Shamazar? Recent rains there have made the ground very dangerous in some parts. Be careful around the dark land areas. Also, the waters of Shamazar hold danger. I even hear stories of a large, dangerous beast in the waters behind a temple, but I do not know which one. Well, Shamazar sounds very interesting. Have I talked to you already? Yes, I have. There's at least three and uh, five of these guys that you can talk to about all the regions. Not gonna talk to him yet because that's gone. You can tell it's Jan because he wears red just like his father because he's a Dolatai Karigan. Where? Stable. Stable. Where? You spotted it. Why did you show me? Are you the one that. Yep. Can I ask you something? Hi there. 
Maybe it wasn't five, but maybe it's only just these three guys here. Ah, you walk among us at last. The yachts be praised. Thanks. Would you like to know about the regions of Talanzar or Motazar? Yeah, it's just only these three guys will tell you about all the regions in the game. So basically, these are all the then that we been talking to, and these last two, they're the all the regions in the game. But <laughs> trust me, they're big. This is a very long game. This is gonna be a very long let's play. Tell me about Talanzar. Talanzar was a great region once, full of life and color. Now it is a wasteland. Many say that the Yads have done this because they know this to be the home of Eiran, and they attempt to revert him. But I am not sure I believe this. Eiran is always there? Most of the time, yes. He built a great palace there. Around it lies the city of Okliana, the only city in Talanzar. Almost all regions of Adelpha send supplies to Talanzar, for this is the center of Croax's best soldiers. Sounds like a busy place. It is. Many Talon live there, trying to do little to attract the wrath of Feyran or Croax. You should not enter this region until you feel ready to do so. Soldiers are everywhere inside Okriana. But if you ever find yourself inside Okriana, you will find that staying off the main road is the best way to avoid the soldier patrols. Yeah, Okriana is a big, big city in the middle of a desert. And it has the best music in the game, at least in my opinion. Not that this music that's been playing in the background is bad. I, Like I already said, this has a fantastic soundtrack. It's one of my favorite of all time. What can you tell me of Motazar? This region is one of wasted land, as well as Talanzar. Only a few thousand moons ago, large trees and many animals made Motazar a wonderful place. Now, the land dies more every moon. Only the most vicious plants and animals live there now. What happened to it? Feyran mines a mineral there, which he uses to make the soldiers' weapon. As more of this mineral is taken from the ground, the region dies. The Shamaz believe that the mineral is the link between the Yads and the Delpha itself. But I have no feelings about this. What is this mineral? You will need to ask another Talon this, Ulokai. I have just become a guardian and am only beginning my studies. I am only now being taught about Motazar. What else have you been taught? Motazar supplies all of this mineral for Feyran. I remember something about a large tear in the ground that separates two parts of the region, and large holes left from old mines. I do not remember much else. Yeah, right, 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 right. We thought we talked to those three guys. We talked to Sakrim, so the only one left now is Jan. Jan, stop moving. Can I ask you something? Are you Jan? Yes, Ulukai. I'm glad that you were feeling better. Thanks. Your father said you could help me get the kinks out. The what? Uh, forget it. I need to get some exercise. Can you help me out? I can do that, Ulukai. There are four tests we do here to train other guardians. I can guide you through them if you would like. I would. Then you can choose from our tests of jumping, swimming, targeting, or sneaking. So, tests, huh? Let's talk about his father first. Say, can you tell me a bit more about your father? He is a great leader, and if things were different in Adelpha, he would be the leader of all the Dolatai Guardians. As it is this moon, we must hide or face the reverting flames of Feyran. Okay, calm down. Take a chill pill. Jeez. He gets people to join him by burning them? Yes, Ulukai. 
That's a bit harsh. Strange recruitment plan. How's your father fighting back? We never fight, although most of us would like to. I am beginning to think that my father's essence is going weak. I want to no longer listen to his teachings of Khazar and of peace. I want more than anything to revert Feyran myself for what he has done. Whoa, simmer down there, Jan. I'm sure your father knows what he's doing. We shall see soon enough. Shall see soon enough? Hmm, seems like Jan has plans. Well, let's do the jump test. Let's try this jumping test. Follow me, Ulukai. I will take you to the place where we test the skills of jumping. Let's go. Metal detected. What now? Across the water, you can see the steps that lead to the top of the rocks. Jump across there and claim your reward. Only those of strong essence can make this jump. Okay, finish for a test with Jan. Jump across the other side of the platform. The Thunder's test. Okay. Turn the map off for now. There's Jan watching us. And. Made it. Let's see if this headset transmitter works. Slade to group. Slade to group. Is anyone reading me? Damn it, people! Turn on your receivers! Sure thing, Jan. I'm a jumping master. Yeah! Let's take the target test next. What about this targeting test? We have some pots set up to test the shooting skills of the new gardens. Even though my father unwisely follows the no-violence teachings of Khazar, we still need to learn how to aim our defensive weapons. I shall show this to you. Yay, we're gonna get to shoot stuff, even if it is pots. Uh, like I said, this is a tutorial, basically. What's the deal here? Here you must break these pots. You may find items inside. Try and break them all. Okay, let's try and break them all. Take out our HKP-12. We got 180 bullets, which should be enough. And also, if you, you can play this in a first-person view. Let's you shoot better than in the third person. The third person will let you, it will auto aim, but uh, fighting in first person is, um, uh, is uh, much more comfortable and easier to target and all that. You shoot well! You shoot well! Of course I shoot well. I'm, I'm the Ulu guy after all. So let's pick up our... Oh, all grabbed. Next, we're gonna take the swim test. Tell me about your test of swimming. We test the ability of all guardians to swim down into the waters around Adelpha. This is useful for us when we hide our items or want to avoid the soldiers of Croax. Follow me, and I will explain our test. Lead the way, Jan. Want me to swim in there? I'll freeze my headset off. This water is very cold, but it holds items that you may find useful. Swim to the bottom to find the best one, but be sure to protect your essence. Okay. Let's just dive in.
Swimming can be a problem in this game because you can get easily stuck on stuff. Also, I have to keep an eye on my oxygen level there. Yeah, extremely cold. It's also a good way to swim in first person. Damn, that's a lot of bullets. <laughs> and it's at least 100 bullets, if not 50. Can't remember for sure. Gonna take these uh, seashells because we need those. Oh, God. Yeah. Just keep on swimming until we find everything. Every time she says foreign material, I always hear it boring material. Yeah. Gubbins. All that lovely, lovely stuff. Back up. Let's get out of this water. Oh, there is something still here. I forgot. But it still continues. Boring material. Oh, I saw you. <laughs> You're mine. Okay. That was cold. <laughs> oh, I love his son. His like his remarks. Now that was cold. Hey, Jan. We still got one test to go. Pardon me, buddy. What is this sneaking test? This is our most difficult test. Since my father orders that we follow the no-violence teachings of Khazar, we find that we are forced to try and sneak into places without the soldiers seeing us. Nothing wrong with a little sneak and peek. Saves on ammo. If you say, Ulukai, me, I want to fight. But my father forbids it. And so now we train how to retrieve objects without being spotted. Follow me and I will tell you the rules. Well, sneaking around is very useful. Just go and head on into battle can get you killed very fast, Jan. So, you better listen to your father. He knows what he speaks of. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. And when will I stop singing in my LPs now? Oh, there's metal. How does this work? Ulukai, you will now begin the most difficult of our tests. What we will do is have you stand in the area of the square. Once I say one, two, three, you must begin to try and get the fruit I lay on the ground. Sounds easy enough. It will not be, Urukai. If you leave the square before I count three, I will start over. If I see you, I will tell you, and you will have to come to me to restart the test. Let's go, then. Enter your square, and we will begin. Wait for my count, please. Well, we'll just wait. This shouldn't be too hard. I'm sure I can do this in one take. He can turn around very sporadically, but he does have a pattern. Now. As you can see, he does have a pattern on how he looks around. So you can easily get around him. Oh, come on! How did you see me from here? Try that I guess you are still weak from your travels. Let us try it again. As soon as I say three, you will need to get the fruit. So I didn't get it on the first try. Okay, let's do this again.
Hey, you're cheating. You're staring at me. Now, this is a problem sometimes with the game. They It can, you know, uh, screw up the uh, animations on people. So this kind of thing happens. Want to try that again? I guess you are still... In this place. One, two, three. Okay, now it works. Echo detected. Okay, let's hope I can get it this time. See me? Good. You did it! I could not see you. Well, I'm Ulukai, of course. So, did I pass? Yes, Ulukai. I had no doubts that you could pass our tests. It was my honor to help you get out of your kink. I hope now that we will be able to learn more useful battle strategies from you. Your father wouldn't be too happy about that. My father does not want to see what is happening around him. He talks of the old moons of the Guardians and the honor their name once held. Never does he see that few are being left alive which believe the way he does. Don't worry, Jan. I've never failed in a mission yet. May the odds be silent during your travels, Urukai. My father will be glad to hear that you are ready to begin. Thanks. Oh yes, I almost forgot. You will need this. Hey, that's an EVD. Where did you find this? This and many sacred objects are all around the Delta now, Ukai. When they were found, many believe them objects of the Yards. So, we got an EVD, which is a, uh, well, pretty much a, you know, Binoculars, which we can use. We can zoom in and zoom out, and what's up? And also, what's groovy about this? We can use X-ray. We can look through stuff to see how many people there are around and how we, how many we can see at a time, which is cool. That makes EVD very cool, a very cool, useful tool. Cool, useful tool. Cool tool. tool, tool. Anyways, I'm gonna go and grab those medals that we saw on the other side. Yeah, this is just, just as fast as a way to get to them. In a way. There it was that we mentioned before. Hiding from me. Huh? Well, I have you now. <laughs> You're all mine. All mine. And we got a lot of stuff. We got six metal. Well, not much the metal, but red crystals, green crystals, and that the uh, shells. Yeah, we got lots of stuff. Which is good. Nice, good, and well. Good to have all those items. So anyway, that was for the first part and the introduction to this game. I hope you enjoyed watching it, because I enjoy playing this game. This is gonna be a lot of fun for me to play through, and it is gonna take a long while to get through it. So let let me save here, and so that I will show you what the Gamsavi looks like. And trust me, it's a bright light. We'll save here. I've done a. I've saved be here before because I was doing tests, test runs of uh, recording this that they didn't look good. But I hope this one looks good enough, and will make me happy. So let's save on LP one, and 
Welcome to the world of Adelpha and Outcast. I've been your friendly neighborhood Let's Player Spider One, and I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all next time on the next part. Take care, people. Bye.